Hello everyone, I'm indubitably Zara, and I'm doing the Crush Your TBR readathon today. It starts at midnight, wherever you are. I'll put more info in the doobly-doo. Um, I'm a little late. I'm starting at 1, so I'm going to go until 12.59am tomorrow instead of 11.59pm. Um, but the idea is that you read for 24 hours and get some stuff off your TBR. So I, I'm an hour late because I took time to get ready. I didn't realize it was even happening until a few hours ago. But I've got my stack of library books behind me, some tea in my most bookish mug, and a quesadilla, so I'm ready to get started. I'll be filming little updates throughout the day, and I'll post a wrap-up at the end of the day. Hello again. It's about 6.30 in the evening here, and I finished two books so far, which is not quite as many as I had hoped that I would by now. And I'm going to keep reading, so hopefully I'll get at least one or two more in. The first book that I finished is the book I was already reading, which is Trigger Warnings, which I read on my Kindle, which is why I'm holding up a Agatha Christie's face. And I really enjoyed it. There were some stories that I didn't like so well, some that were just kind of meh. One that I really didn't get until afterwards, and I was like, oh, that's what that was about. Meh. Um, I'll do a more full review later, but there were also several stories that I absolutely loved and overall I did enjoy the book. I'm glad I read it. I enjoyed Trigger Warnings and the second book that I picked up and finished a little while ago is Saint Anything by Sarah Dessen, which I am going to replace my face with because we can't both fit in the frame. Oh, maybe? Maybe? If I hold my arm out a little farther? Anyway, um, Saint Anything is a book about a teenager whose brother has gone into prison for something that he did involving addiction and alcohol and things. Fun, fun stuff. And of course she finds her savior in a boy, as in the other one Sarah Dessen book I've read, so maybe I shouldn't judge. Anyway, I did enjoy it as I enjoyed the other Sarah Dessen book I read. It's not really my thing, so I don't read her stuff a lot. But I think that she does what she does very well. And I found that to be the case with Saint Anything. Saint Anything kept making me laugh out loud in the little outside area outside Starbucks. So that's good. Probably earned a few weird looks. But I was too concentrated on my book. So I don't care. So that's my two books that I have read so far during this wrap-up. During this wrap-up. During this readathon. That would be... I think I might read The Wind-Up Girl by Paola Bacigalupi next. But I'm not sure. I have like, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 10, 10, 10, 12, 13, 14 and more books to choose from that I have from the library right now. So tough call. Who knows? Who knows what it will be? All right. I'll see you in a few hours. Hello again. I'm back. It's about 1.15 in the morning here. So I finished the readathon about 15 minutes ago. After St. Anything, I decided to go for something considerably different, still with little romance, but more apocalypse and dystopia and disease and ocean, which is The Living by Matt de la Pena. And if you've ever heard a better summary than that, I just don't know what to tell you. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so I read this. I still clearly haven't processed it because I don't really know how to sum it up. I finished it about an hour ago, I think some around midnight, and it was quite a ride. I tell you, it's so good. If you like apocalyptic thrillers, this is for you. While this book is more apocalyptic fiction than dystopian fiction, I think you would also enjoy it if you enjoy dystopian fiction because it's definitely got some elements in there. I'll have a mo more coherent review up at some point, whether in a wrap-up video or on its own, but I absolutely love this. It was so good. I knew that after I read this, there was no way that I was going to be spending my last hour reading something unrelated. So I caved, I went on Amazon and bought the Kindle edition of the sequel to The Living, which is called The Hunted, and started reading it. And I got about 138 pages, I think, into it. Um, so all in all, I think I did pretty well. I added up my tally from where I started around the middle of Trigger Warning to what, probably like a quarter, third of the way through The Hunted. I ended up reading 1,055 pages. I definitely took more breaks than I intended to, didn't spend as much time reading as I could have, but considering that I didn't know about this until about like six hours before it started, excuse me, 
I think I did a pretty good job with more prep. I definitely could have gotten more sleep beforehand and kind of had things more on lockdown so I could have read more. So next time, I don't know when next time is, but I definitely plan on doing this readathon again as it's not a lot of commitment, um, not a whole week of things. Anyway, super rambly, probably need to go to bed, probably won't because I'm really wired right now from this book. So yeah, see you soon.